we're the heart of Cuyahoga County in Ohio. It has a population of about 1.3 million people. And although our population is only about 400,000, this is the business hub, this is the entertainment hub, this is the sports hub for this entire region. CS3 stands for Cleveland Shared Security Surveillance Program. We named this program to kind of give it ownership and kind of let the media know and the public know that this is the program, it's out there and it's uh, representing the city, not only for officer safety, but also for visitors and citizens. Some of the grants that have funded this project have been justice assistance grants, buffer zone protection grants, urban area security initiative grants, and also state homeland security grants. When we submitted our applications, we had to identify those infrastructures here within city through a homeland security assessment that could be targets of some type of national threat where you have the national security level that you want to address, and then we have our crime. And with that overlap, the crime part of it, I always say, you know, I don't want to catch the guy that stole the purse. I do not want the purse stolen in the first place. Our system started off small. We started off with the first implementation of 13 cameras. That was with our uh, heart of downtown public square area. Then we expanded, uh, adding six more additional cameras around our arena area. We then expanded even more to a couple key locations in downtown Cleveland that were areas of concern. And now we're going out and we have projects right now where we're expanding into uh, the community. And our operability with this project was key. We wanted to build a network where not only the city could add cameras to it, but also other agencies could add cameras to it. So scalability was key in the design of this network. Uh, the overall benefit for having the video surveillance network is to have eyes in places that you don't have eyes available. Motorola's responsiveness has been excellent in my opinion. It's been very good. I mean our partnership with Motorola, especially when we first deployed the cameras down here, uh, any requests we had they responded to. Once you go live with a system, you know, a vendor usually is, you don't see them much anymore after that. So it's very important, you know, when you go out and purchase things, that partnership and the service provided thereafter, very important, especially in law enforcement. Motorola has offered many services as far as planning and maintaining the system. We often meet with our sales rep and also some of the engineers to talk about how the network is functioning, the, the traffic flowing back and forth, ways we can improve the network, and even just expanding on how often we should go out and check cameras, clean lenses. These type of things have been worked out with Motorola and have continued to the successful operation of this program. Crime here in the city of Cleveland over the past five or six years has been declining. Have the video cameras played a part in that? Absolutely, there's no question about it. They're another tool that the officers can use in the two components, the preventive component and also the follow-up component if something takes place. Well, I think the community has benefited directly. It's created a sense of awareness, a feeling of safety, especially here on the front door of the city of Cleveland, the downtown business district. They've benefited the most. There's a great partnership throughout the city with the community, the police department, fire departments, public safety, the business community, all working together to make this a better place, and that's our strength as the people.